the idea of a dystopian world. Um, so we read through a lot of different books. The way we actually got round to doing Mr Burns is we did an um, improvisation exercise in class inspired by the director Mike Lee. Failed very, very badly. And it was supposed to be a serious piece about five people stuck in a room together and how they survive. And it ended up becoming hilarious. Bertrand said, do you know what, why don't you do comedy? And then he recommended Mr Burns, which we then read and just kind of became fascinated with, really. Pop culture. Society. Power. Guns. Bathtub. Politics. We hope. Time. Apocalypse. Religion. Death. 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 Death, death. Murder. Camping. <laughs> death and death. We have studied Katie Mitchell's directorial guide or book throughout. There's an exercise called Facts and Questions. And you go through the acts and you list, for example, there is a river, the year is this, the time is this, of what it might say in the stage directions. And then any questions that you might have, you just list them. And then throughout your process, you can go, you can jump back and answer the questions and gradually that world will begin to get bigger and bigger and more detailed. What we learned from that was that we like working out stage by stage what we want. We decided, okay, if there was an apocalypse, where would we go? We decided to go to Dover. Um, and we found this little woods um, which had the lake, had some clearing and we just kind of looked at pictures of it and decided okay this is what is surrounding us, this is what we need to envision when we're doing Act 1. Act 1 we have our bathtub and our sofa which look really run down and make it look like as if there's been an explosion and all these things have just sort of landed. And things as well, like our barricades were really important as well to sort of um, create this specific area where we feel slightly more safe than the rest of the world. For Act 2, we really utilised the fact that we're in the University Theatre because you have the wings already set up, you have where the audience would be. It just creates this workspace really well. And then in Act 3, it just completely takes over. Act 3 was really difficult for us because we couldn't really use what was in the original script and we had to take themes from it and to be able to tell our story. Make it more of an abstract kind of piece because it's 75 years later we wanted to show the transformation of, um, from Act 1 right through to Act 3. And you just have the bath in the centre. did that because we thought it would connect the play together by having the bathtub throughout. The same as the bin. In Act 1 it's used as a fire, in Act 2 it's used to just have some props in and then in Act 3 one of us delves our hands into the bin and we come out dripping in yellow paint. The original obsession you've seen within Act 1 spirals very intensely out of control into this kind of religious and cult-like world where people are trying to change their skin colour to look like the Simpsons. There's almost a simplicity to how quickly it can take over and how quickly society and culture can change. The whole paint scene will be absolutely brilliant and the audience are not going to expect it. End of February, possibly March, um, we did a piece looking at fear and within that piece we used quite a few experimental short films and within Mr Burns we really wanted to kind of bring that back. Also in terms of a more technical side of it, Mr Burns is a three act play which then require huge set changes so we needed something that was going to engage the audience. So between act one and act two we have filmed like an apocalyptic game show which really shows a world beyond the one that we're depicting and kind of brings in the question as to whether we are not the only theatre company within the play that are trying to entertain. We've kind of created the idea that the short film featuring Mr Burns is that someone 
has latched on to this obsession with The Simpsons and the fact that people are trying to put it on as a form of entertainment and has used it as a form of power and manipulation. I think things like trying to rewrite the script has been a big difficulty because of our time limit. Our time limit was very short, I feel, for the amount that we, need, we needed and wanted to do. I found it really difficult to create this world for the audience, show that we are in the apocalypse, we are at risk and that our lives are in danger. Yeah, I struggled a bit with my character, um, but reading through the books, going through questions and um, going really in depth, answering questions about our characters has really helped. Um, I think it's really come together.